in the national development agenda, as well as achieving the core objectives of the Ghana Shared Growth and Development Agenda and the Millennium Development Goals. However, the absence of a robust, adequate, timely, and credible data or statistics will be injurious to the implementation of the plan as it will be difficult to monitor and evaluate progress and challenges to be able to put in place the media actions as a policy. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is for this reason that my ministry and its agencies find it necessary to engage other stakeholders, both public and private sectors, to consolidate available tourism and tourism related data in Ghana, determine gaps, and put in place measures to address the gaps and eventually develop a tourism satellite account for Ghana as sanctioned by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. A satellite account is a term developed by the United Nations, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development to measure the size of economic sector not defined as industries in national accounts. All indications are that tourism plays a significant role in the Ghanaian economy. However, unlike output defined industries such as agriculture or manufacturing, the primarily demand defined tourism industry is not measured as a sector in its own right in national accounts. That's why then he said it's just described as miscellaneous enjoyment. That is not true. Tourism globally. It's not a clearly defined industry in the system of national accounts, but it is an amalgamation of industries such as transportation, accommodation, food and beverage services, recreation and entertainment, and travel agencies. The 1993 SNA does, however, provide for the development of tourism satellite accounts for the explicit study of tourism related industries and products. A TSA is a statistical instrument used to measure the size of the tourism industry's contribution to the economy of a country according to international standards of concepts, classification, and definition, which will allow for valid comparisons with other industries and eventually between individual countries and between groups of countries. The role of the private sector stakeholders in providing data through surveys, administrative and operational record is very critical in this initiative and cannot be overlooked since tourism in particular is private sector driven. Indeed, the Tourism Act 2011 Act 817 requires tourism enterprises to submit data to the Planner Tourism Authority which regulates the operations of such business entities for analysis to inform policy and development in the tourism industry. The TSA will provide producers of tourism statistics with a framework to improve national methods of data collection in the tourism industry. This will also provide users of tourism data with extensive data outlays and build confidence in the credibility of data available. To establish ladies and gentlemen, it is imperative to recognize that from best practices, the preparation of a TSA is important but it is not only res the responsibility of a single institution. It should best be approached as a collaborative effort. It is for this reason that other public institutions, which have important administrative sources of data, are expected to play pivotal roles to ensure the introduction of a TSA that is successful in Ghana.